Welcome back to AM Northwest. You know, it gets bigger every year. Here to tell us about the annual Heart to Start community training events kicking off this month, we welcome back cardiologist with Providence Heart Institute and the founding coach of Heart to Start, Dr. Jamie Becker. Good to see you, Beckerman. Good to see you it's good again. Good to see you too. Okay, this is the eighth year. Yeah. I cannot believe that. Bigger and better, better. every year. Explain to folks what it what it entails. Sure. So we are a 12-week uh, uh, training program to help people walk or run their first 5K or their 10th 5K. Right. And so we've been doing this uh, for eight years now, and uh, it's a big year for us because we have more locations than ever, so more opportunities for people to participate. Yeah, three locations now. That's right. And it started out with one, as I recall. Yeah, it started out with me and like a dozen ragtag people <laughs> who, you know, we found in the parking lot and said, do you want to come hang out for a half hour? And now, yeah, we're all over the place. Do you remember your vision eight years ago? What was your goal? You know, if, for me, it was all about just being inclusive and I've always admired programs where physicians walk with their patients. Right. And I thought, you know, th there are people out there who want to do something that has a goal right. or who even want to try to run. And so we created the program keeping them in mind, and it's been great to get thousands of people across the finish line. Over the years, we've had different people who've been involved and who used to sit on the couch and now, yeah. you know, do runs, do 5Ks. So tell me about the changes that you've seen in people over the years. Well, I, I think we've seen it all, you yeah. know, from people who've, who've lost weight or improved their blood pressure or cholesterol or diabetes. But what I always think about is, you know that feeling that people sometimes get when you wanna uh, accomplish a goal or you're facing an obstacle and you just don't think you can do it. Right. And there's, there's anxiety, there's, there's fear, there's just that feeling that's uncomfortable. But then you do do it. And that experience that you have, when you look back and you literally say, I did it. Yeah. And the way that that propels you forward and gives you momentum in other areas, areas of your life. So that to me, that's what we promise. Yeah. That's what we deliver. I on think that it's feeling. great that it's just gotten bigger and bigger. It's just, Heal It Forward, tell me about that. Yeah, so Heal It Forward is our, our idea that doing good Thanks makes people you. feel better. Mm -hmm. And there's actually research data that shows that our health improves when we contribute to other people's lives. Right. And so throughout that makes the sense. Yeah, throughout the Heart to Start season we create tons of opportunities for people to contribute to the Portland community, whether it's at the food bank or the Humane Society, uh, helping to clear trails at the Hoyt Arboretum. So we get people out there and working together to help other people. Have you had people who started out in your program and now they're helping others start as well? Yeah, I've well, got to believe that that happens. Yes, and, and uh, we have people who are really ambassadors for the program who get people to participate every year. Uh, you know, as I mentioned, we're going to be this year uh, in three locations right. at Catlin Gable, Rosemont Ridge Middle School, and Buckman Elementary. So all over the city for people to get involved. For someone who thinks, you know, maybe I'll try this out, what can they expect when they get there? They can expect to feel welcome mm -hmm. because uh, diversity of experience is our strength. So we have people who uh, have run marathons and we have people who had heart surgery just a few months ago who were looking to, to bounce back. So every kind of experience with exercise, every body type, every type of person who wants to just be their best self. So it seems too that when you've had some folks on the show who've, who've done this program, they find, com they, you mentioned companionship, they find friends among yeah. the group, someone who'll walk with them or jog with them at their pace. Absolutely. And also people who want to grab breakfast after the workout or get together on the weekend. Right. And so I've always thought that even though people join our program because they want to do a 5K, we, we create this program to create community and to build relationships with people. And that always happens every year. So the the training program is for how long, and then the final is is a is a big run. Yeah, right? that's right. It, it's a twelve week program. We start right after Thanksgiving this year, and we'll be running uh, three workouts a week until our big event, which is the Heart to Start five k in mid February. Okay. All right. So let's tell folks the Heart to Start training events Saturday, Sun Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then you have them at Catlin Gable School, Rosemont Ridge Middle School, Buckman Elementary School, and then your kickoff party is. Let's see. Where's the kickoff party? Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, and we'll put all that information for you on our website at katu.com. Doctor, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you so much. It.